This video is brought to you by Kennel Grim and Grin's own Screams from the Crypt. 20 tales of horror, sci-fi, and suspense. Available now. Hello, I'm Grim Grindle, and welcome to this build request, which is requested by Jordan the Cryptic Hero, XGamer360, JLo Ren, G1NG3R, J03, Val Tisto, Mr. Gaming Bro, and Example Text, who have all over the course of several years requested me to try and build an X-Wing from Star Wars, which I have on occasion tried to do and failed, and have always said that I'm not going to release an X-Wing video until I make one that can successfully lock its X-Foils in attack position. It is an especially difficult build, as the X-Wing has four different wings that all open up in different directions at the same time, which is something that there's really not enough tow bars in the game or space in the vehicle design to allow for such a mechanism. Fortunately, however, I am a genius, and when there's a will, there's a way, and as people have been willing it for three or so years, I figured it was about time to really buckle down and find that way. Now, the main problem with moving wings, which I've built on several vehicles, is that for each individual wing, you really do need four tow bars. This is because you need two attached to the main vehicle, and two attached to the wing, because otherwise if you've only got one on the vehicle and one on the wing, there's only one point of connection working as an anchoring point, and so without the other two tow bars tethering it, it's going to flap around weirdly. And so finding a way around this was the most complicated and most important thing about this build. It took a lot of trial and error, and a lot of three-dimensional thinking, but essentially the X-Wing that I built shouldn't be thought of a vehicle with four wings, but instead a vehicle with two wings that sit on different levels. You see, it's almost like the vehicle is made of two seesaws that, when released, are pulled in opposing directions and are locked into place by each other when they reach the climax of their expansion. And so that's the basic functionality of the X-Wing done, but the next main step is to make the entire mechanism a lot more narrow and streamlined because it's quite bulky in the way that it is at the moment, and it's not exactly going to be congruent to establishing the X-Wing's aestheticism. This was in itself a nightmare process of its own right, as any small change resulted in a necessity to rework the entire mechanism as a whole, as it just threw off the entirety of the balance or prevented it from locking into place correctly. Any small addition, for example, adding something so unnecessary and trivial as engines, would result in me having to rework the entire thing, and it was because of this the build evolved from being rather long and complicated to being rather longer and rather more complicated. It is, I dare say, with the possible exception of the Grizzly, my most complicated build and the build that has taken me the longest. Irregardless, it eventually did reach a point that it was recognizably and undeniably in the shape and boasting the functionalities roughly similar to that of an X-Wing. It flies, it can open its wings while flying, which even the R-Wing has trouble with, and with the wings open, it can continue to fly pretty darn well. I mean, it's not going to turn sharply or do any great maneuvers, so don't go into it expecting it to be able to do handbrake turns like in The Last Jedi, but no great loss there. After this, all that was needed was a droid, a few aesthetic changes, a paint job to get it into Rogue Squadron, and it was ready to take on the Empire, blowing up Death Star after Death Star after Death Star. And so there you have it, an X-Wing Starfighter circa Galactic Civil War in Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. And if you'd like a copy of it in your own save, what's going to follow now is of course the layer by layer, so you can feel free to copy it over. And with all of that said and done, thanks for watching, and until next time I have been and still am Grim Grindle. If you'd like to join me on social media, a link to my Twitter and the channel Grim and Grim Discord is available in the links below, and also if you're a fan of sci-fi, horror and suspense, then do check out Grin's new novel, Screams from the Crypt, as heard by Darkwell Bled, also available in the links below.
of horror, sci-fi, and suspense. Available now.